welcome learners today we are going to discuss our english another chapter going for a picnic it is sunday samir is going for a picnic with his family here you can see a boy wearing green t-shirt this is samir and he is going to go to the picnic with his family grandfather tells sara to get the paper plates here is the grandfather and here is the sara so grandfather instructs sara to get the paper plates sara runs to the kitchen the paper plates are on the shelf here sara runs to the kitchen and she brought paper plates on the shelf she picks them up she gives them to grandfather now sara gives paper plate to her grandfather then grandfather says thank you sara you are a good girl grandfather appreciates sara for bringing paper plates from kitchen samir is helping mother to pack things here you can see samir is helping his mother to pack things he asks mother shall i pack the buns in the red box here you can see red box with is with samir so he is packing buns in the red box he is asking her uh, his mother then mother says yes samir thank you samir packs the buns in the red box sara packs the small cakes in the blue box here you can see sara is packing small cakes in the blue box grandmother makes sandwiches for everyone here you can see grandmother granny here grandmother is making sandwiches for everyone she makes tomato cucumber and cheese sandwiches then she packs them in a basket here you can see a basket and grandmother is packing all the sandwiches in the basket with the help of sara father carries the cricket ball cricket bats to the car he calls out samir please bring the cricket ball it is in the toy basket so here father instructs samir to bring cricket ball from the toy basket samir runs to the toy basket he picks up the cricket ball and the football he takes them to the car father says thank you samir father and samir put all the picnic things in the car now they are ready to go for a picnic okay now here let's see a video of this chapter chapter 3 going for a picnic it is sunday samir is going for a picnic with his family grandfather tells sara to get the paper plates sara runs to the kitchen the paper plates are on the shelf she picks them up she gives them to grandfather grandfather says thank you sara you are a good girl Samir is helping mother to pack things. He asks, "Mother, shall I pack the buns in the red box?" Mother says, "Yes, Samir. Thank you." Samir packs the buns in the red box. Sara packs the small cakes in the blue box. Grandmother makes sandwiches for everyone. She makes tomato, cucumber and cheese sandwiches. Then she packs them in a basket. Father carries the cricket bats to the car. He calls out, "Samir, please bring the cricket ball. It is in the toy basket." Samir runs to the toy basket. He picks up the cricket ball and the football. He takes them to the car. Father says, "Thank you, Samir." 
Father and Samir put all the picnic things in the car. Now they are ready to go for the picnic. Okay, this is the end of the video. Now let's move on to the exercise of this chapter. First, comprehension. What does these things? So sorry. Who does these things? Write the names in the blanks. Here you have to uh, recall that who done, who has done these things, and you have to write it down in the blanks. Okay. First, who packs burns in the box? Who packs burns in the box? So the answer will be. Samir S capital because this is a special name who makes sandwiches so who makes sandwiches grandmother who brings the football yes again Samir who gets the paper plates yes it is Sara. Next, true and false. Follow my spotlight where I am writing. Here you have to write T for true or F for false in the boxes. Okay, let's start with the first. Samir and his family are going for a picnic. Yes. So, if the answer is true, we will write. T, capital T. Sarah walks to the kitchen to get paper plates. Here, paper plates is right. Sarah is right. But walks is wrong. Okay. So, walks is not the answer. Sarah runs to the kitchen to get paper plates. So, here the answer will be wrong. False. F, capital F for the false. Next. Third number, Samir packs the burns in the blue box. So, yes, Samir packs the burns, but it is not in the blue box. It is in the red box. So, the answer will be wrong, false. Grandmother makes sandwiches for Sarah and Samir. Only for Sarah and Samir? No, grandmother makes sandwiches for whole family. So it is wrong. False. Father puts the father puts the toy basket in the car? No. False. Okay, so these are true and false. Now let's move on to the next exercise. Match. Match the word in a column in column A with the words in column B. Number one is done for you. Okay. We have to match the words of column A with column B. Burns. So burns are in the red box. Similarly, cakes. Cakes are in the blue box. So match them. Sandwiches. Sandwiches are in the basket. Bats and balls. So, bats and balls are in the car. When they were leaving, they kept in the car. Paper plates. Paper plates are on the shelf. Okay. Done. Let's move on to the next exercise. Read the following information about Lena. Here there is a family tree. Grandfather Madan Mehta. Grandmother Kamlesh Mehta. Father Ashok Mehta. And mother Renu Mehta. Then sister Lena and brother Anil. So we have to fill in the blanks with the help of this family tree. Okay, ready? First, Lena's dash is Madan Mehta. So Lena is here. 
एंड हु इज मदन मेहता सो मदन मेहता इज हर ग्रैंड फादर राइट इट डाउन ग्रैंड फादर देन हर डैश इज इज कमलेश मेहता कमलेश मेहता इज हर ग्रैंड मदर राइट इट डाउन नेक्स्ट रेनू मेहता इज लीनाज डैश रेनू मेहता इज लीनाज मदर Ashok Mehta is dash of Lena so Ashok Mehta is is the father of Lena father dash is Lena's b dash so b is stands for brother so Anil is Anil is Lena's brother b is already written so we'll write remaining letters of brother B R O T H E R, and try to write as near as brother. Lena is Anil's dash. Lena is Anil's sister. Done. Okay, let's move on to the next exercise. Grammar nouns. Now. What are nouns? Nouns are the names of person, place, animal, birds, or thing. Anything that we can name is a noun. Here, read the following sentences. First, the plates are in kitchen. Here, plates and kitchen are written in red, red color because they are noun. Plates are is the name of thing. Kitchen is the name of place. Samir packs the buns in the box. Samir is the name of a person. Buns is the name of a thing, and box is also name of thing. Sara packs up a tomato. So Sara is the name of girl, which is the name of person. So to and tomato is the name of a thing. A dog barks. So dog is the name of an animal. So which all red color words are there? They all are nouns. So similarly, we have to. underline the nouns in the following sentences here there is definition of naming words words that name person things animals or places are called naming words or nouns so here underline the nouns in the following sentence first number sara brings the plates so here the noun will be sara underline this word plates Sara is the name of a person, and plates is the name of a thing. Grandmother makes sandwiches. So underline grandmother, name of a person. Sandwiches, name of a thing. Blackie is a cat, and Ratty is a rat. So Blackie is a special name or a proper noun. Cat is a common name or a common noun. Ratty is a special name, proper noun, and again, rat is a noun. Mother cooks in the kitchen. So, mother is a person, and kitchen is the name of a place. This girl is tall and beautiful. So, here, girl, it is a person. So, these all are nouns. Done. Let's move further. one and many read the following phrases one apple many apples one book many books we add s to the to change some nouns from one to many here we have to change the noun from one to many many that means more than one here you can see one cake here many cakes three cakes one girl three girls many girls and so on so Let's write it down. Answer. Cake, cakes. C a k e s. Simply, you have to add s at the end of the word. Girl, girls. G i r l s. Girls. Ball, balls. B a l l s. Balls. Flower, 
flowers f l o w e r s boy boys b o y s so these are one too many exercises next men and women match the men in the column a with the woman in column b so one already done for you men women we have to here match with <clears throat> male gender with the female genders masculine to feminine so here is my line father so father's pair will be with mother king queen uncle aunt brother sister done next writing here look at the picture here one picture is given and complete the sentences use word from the box here box is given in which words are written so we have to take help of this words and complete this picture composition so first sanya and her family are in a dash so sanya and her family are in a park first answer will be they are present in a park p a r k there are many tall dash and beautiful dash in it there are many tall trees t r w -E e s trees so we will cut whichever option we are going to use over here we will cut trees we have used park we have used next there are many tall trees and beautiful flowers f l o w e s flowers in it so let's cut flowers also sanya's dash and dash are playing football so who all are playing football sanya's father and brother so we will write here father f a t h e r let's cut this option father and brother let's move on to the next page they are playing football so here father we have already written so here will be brother next sanya is playing dash with her mother so what is sanya playing sanya is playing badminton badminton with her mother her grandparents are sitting on a dash so they are sitting on a mat m a t the food dash is near them the food basket b a s k e t the food basket is near to them everyone is having fun next exercise punctuations capital letter and full stop now in this exercise we will came to know where we have to use capital letters and where we have to put full stop a leaf is green meena likes apples i live in delhi so here at the end of sentence there will be full stop because this these sentences are not being asked okay so that's why at the end of the sentence there will be full stop and there is a rule use a capital letter to start a sentence whenever we are going to start a sentence we will use capital letters and write the names of particular persons and places so wherever we are using special names that means proper noun okay so we are going to use capital letters and i alone will also be written with capital 
put a full stop at the end of sentence now where we are going to ask a question at the end of that question we will going to put question mark is this an apple yes question mark what color is a parrot again question mark because question is asked use a capital letter to start a question here in the question question sentences also we have to start it with capital letters and at the end of the question there will be question mark so let's do an exercise rewrite the following sentences using capital letters and full stops or question marks a parrot has a red beak so this is not a question this is a sentence so a parrot and parrot is a common name okay common name of a bird so we will not write it capital a parrot has a red beak b e a k and full stop at the end of sentence we are going to put a full stop a parrot has a red beak what is your name so this is a question a question has been asked what is your name tell me your name so start with capital letter w what is your name and at the end of the sentence question mark because this is a question third the dog is in the garden so this is sentence this is not a question starting with capital letter the dog is in the garden g a r d e n full stop how are you so this is a question starting with capital letter h o w how are you and at the end of the sentence question mark last anil and lena are in nagpur so here name of a person name of boy and girl are given so it is a special name anil and capital l lena r in nagpur nagpur is a name of a place particular place so we will write it capital nagpur n a g p u r okay so here our exercise and let's move on to the next exercise of listening and speaking listening and speaking say the rhyme with actions after your teacher if you are happy and you know it clap your hands if you are happy and you know it clap your hands if you are happy and you know it and you really want to show it if you are happy and you know it clap your hands okay so this you have to practice at home with the actions okay wherever the comes if you are happy and you know it clap your hands so you have to clap your hands like this okay i know you can do it now e2 exercise silent letter silent e so let me show you i have audios also with me Unit three, listening and speaking. E two, silent letters. Silent E. Bake, cake, gate, face, plate, bike, like, bite, side, slice, more, rope, home. bone hole cute huge tube mute flute okay 
now we also have e3 exercise with us e3 story remy has a holiday she is at home she bakes a cake with mother mother keeps the cake on the table a mouse is sitting under the table mother and remy go to wash their hands the mouse jumps onto the table it takes a huge bite of the cake remy comes into the room she sees the mouse she screams mother the mouse looks at remy it is afraid it runs away and our last exercise e4 sounds of english words send fence bench leg sad tap dam shall pairs of words bed bad head had said sad mess mass sets of words bid bed bad hid head had said said sad miss mess mass okay learners if you like my video if you find it useful please like share and subscribe my channel adi saraswati thank you